we'll go head off to the farm now, guys. We're going to do lots here. You're going to see lots, and I hope you're going to be really candid about what I say, because I have done loads of interviews in the past few days, and they've edited all the important stuff out. The reason we're having all these issues is entirely because of Brexit and nothing else. We are right in the middle of rural Essex, right next to the capital, Chelmsford. There we go, they're saying hello, good morning. I've been turkey farming since I was eight years old, so that's um, a long time now. In total, we have about 210,000, and that supplies 27% of all the fresh turkey sold at Christmas. So we are major players in the breeding side of the business. We have uh, huge issues at the moment. Uh, it's all about Brexit and Labour. You know, the people that we used to have coming into the country to supply, to pluck and pack our turkeys, they're no longer allowed in. They don't see a future in the UK anymore. They can go over into mainland Europe and get jobs in France and Germany, wherever, and where they have a long-term future. And whereas they did have a long-term future here in the UK, um, they don't anymore. So it's really, really hard for us to get good quality people. And over the past 15 years, we've got a fully trained staff that come to help us for six weeks at Christmas that have slaughterman's licenses, are fully trained in welfare and fully trained in all the other things we need from a food safety aspect. Um, and it's, the, the rug has just been pulled away from my feet. So this year, whilst technically the ones with settled status can come, they don't want to come because, they, like I say, there's no future here for them anymore. If you look across the industry at the moment, the chicken and turkey industry, those packing plants, um, they're three or 400 people short every day to get the job done. And those people doing the job are at breaking point. They're doing overtime, double shifts, working weekends. And come Christmas, the workload doubles, if not trebles and the people aren't there. The politicians tell us, you know, you've got to employ locally. There are no local people here now. Want to come and pluck turkeys and they don't have the skills. I am chairman of the British turkey sector, but I'm a great supporter of British farming and British turkeys. 30 years ago, France supplied 40% of the Christmas turkeys in the UK, between 30 and 40%, if not more. And it's gonna go back to that. And those very same workers that were working here, with far turkeys being produced on British farms by British people, those same workers are going to be doing the same in a Polish factory. It breaks my heart, because why? Why, why, why? So, I mean, yeah, I get all the time, but you know, this is, it, this is because of COVID, not Brexit. Well, I can tell you now, the labour issue is not about COVID. The labour issue is they're not allowed into the country and they don't see a future here anymore. Point. End of story. So it's not, it's not COVID related at all, it's Brexit. You know, at the end of our breeding season we have to, we have to pluck and pack all our breeders. We were throwing £3,000 a week of product into the skip because we didn't have the people to pack it. Yeah. And then the lorry drivers weren't turning up to collect it. You know, we had containers going out. No, sorry, we're coming Monday, they weren't. Okay, so our freezers were full. And then the freezers are full elsewhere because of all this situation. Um, it's, it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, we know there's not going to be enough British turkeys available. There's 20% reduction year on year, and last year we sold out. So there's um, a massive shortage of British turkey. We're not running a corner shop. It's a whole industry that feeds the nation. It will be a car crash come Christmas. Come on in, boys. Watch yourself with the camera. They'll, um, they'll pick you. You know, in this flock here, you'll see these are all males and they're all hatched on exactly the same day. But you'll see smaller ones and bigger ones. So that's just a genetic difference. They're from different sized families. These were hatched in the last week of May. So where are we now? Middle of September, week 38, week 19. They're just about 20 weeks. If you wiggle your fingers, they peck at you and it kind of really makes you jump. Come on, boys. They think it's a worm. They think it's a worm? I don't know what they think it is, but 
they do like pecking your fingers and you've got to move your fingers about quick so they can't get it otherwise it hurts. Here's good boys. In these dark times that we find ourselves in, it's all too easy to feel passive and disengaged and hopeless. But there is something you can do if you like the sound of a fearless, independent media outlet really trying to shine a light where the mainstream doesn't. Then do sign up to Byline TV. You can hit the join button on YouTube or subscribe on Patreon. You can be part of driving meaningful change.